Hello and welcome to the Arc 6 finale here on the Running Minimum 12 Let's Play of Heavy Base X. Before we begin, it's time to evolve some of our other team members. And at level 32, Herdier evolves to his next form. That next form is a crucial piece of kit. Because it's big, huge, has a beard, and we saw him in the Celestial Tower. Herdier evolves into a Stoutland. Stoutland is a very powerful normal type. Has sand of sand or was it sand rush as his main thing? Also, when you reach level 32, another evolution takes place, and that is of course little Solasis here evolves to his second form. His second form, of course, we saw in the tower, Celestial Tower. It's Duosion. Duosion is a much bulkier psychic type and very useful too. Anything else that we got so far? Yes, at 35, Vanillish evolves into his next form. This is a form that evolves when it learns, naturally, one of the most powerful moves in the game, Ice Beam. It evolves into... Vanilla evolves into Vanillish! As you can see right there. Useful and kind of somewhat retarded. Finally, your mask evolves at 33. I think. But his next form is we have is a form that we'll probably be seeing right towards the very end. But it's a very useful defensive wall. Your mask evolves into a Cofagrius. Very, very interesting. Um, very interesting pure ghost type. Very defensive based. Probably no one. Anyway. In the Arc 6 finale, we're back at Mistralian City. Our big challenge now is to challenge the gym. Which we haven't done for several episodes. This is basically it. So if you want to take her down, go Suto. The the gym at level six is basically something that was replaced in Black and White 2. But for initially, you have to use it's flying types here. So we have electrics, rocks, ice types, all that. There are also ty other types as well. So if we go in here. This gym is cannon based, and no, it's not fuck you fire the cannon as the cannon of chaos, it's these powerful um, items here. So, as you can follow this route here, as you can say right there, our first trainer battle. Now, for many reasons, we're going to be getting close to evolution. So, for instance, our team level is now around 35. One level to go before our big evolution coming up in the. In, before the evolution of our starters. So. Kicking off with Tranquil, level 32, Archin here. Kicking some ass. Now, here's the thing what I got so far. In the last gym battle, I used a combination of... I used all the starters to take on Clay. I decided to go with the opposite and use the other three to take on uh, Sk Skyla. So that's Archin, Excadrill, and of course, uh, Tynemo. They'll all be used today. And then the next part's gonna be the remnants of all the others. As you can see right here. Okay. It annoys me because this is a trick. Fuck you, Detect Spammer! Hate you so much! Die! You don't belong in this world! It was not by my Stone Edge I was once again given flesh. So, beating this tr beating this trainer here. Moving do a little swap in the swap in the who and the hardy now. So let's do it. And now we go to our main main event, which is Tynamo. He is the main one in charge of this battle. So let's take a pick of what we got against Dick. So we got another trainer here. And this is a Pokemon that's you. Actually no, technically it's a two part of here. Using Ducklet as its only thing. Yep, yeah, this is all the flying types that can go come and go here. So uh, you better be, better be prepared because all the kind of all the things take place. And thank God I did cheat. That thing did not do say a Hydro Pump or Skull. Anyway, Rock Slide into Oblivion. Shwana! It's evolved form is called one of the most disappointing Gen 5 Pokemon period. Mainly due to the fact it sucks. As it, has, it had a good build-up, and it had a weak stat. Kind of like the Rampados build-up. Rampados was really was good-looking, had good had good build and hype, and then it just 
kind of sucked in terms of stats. And I used one in the platinum list. But so let's see. We've beaten this one. So let's move down here. It goes to this cannon. Oh, fuck you, fire the cannon. Go for this one. Wow, I like to see referencing my old show. So, um, basically the pilot here. He will have some things to answer as well. He'll only have two Pokemon, the pilot's head. First off, Ducklet. Ducklet. Ooh. Tynamo. Oh yeah, Tynamo is awesome. It's the best electric pack. If you haven't got Tynamo, then I'm pretty sure you can use a freaking Zeb Striker. Uh, discharged. That combination of the two is actually a pretty good move set for the battle against Skylar. Um, Sigil Glyph. Now, who do I send out this time? Are you survive? What? Are you surviving? What? Alright, I had to have a good reason to use surviving here because because Sigil Glyph is powerful enough to kill me. No, because I can kill him in one hit. No. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, smack it with Leaf Blade. <laughs> Best way to do so. At least it does somewhat of a lower amount of damage. Anyway, yeah, Savine is now close to its evolution level, which is brilliant for a lot of us. So, um, the next cannon here, you're expected to go for the left. Don't go to the left. You're, you're about to see. That's actually a trick. A very, very clever trick. So, uh, let's see. Now, go in through the south. When you do so, you move on to the next area, which is this bit here. And now we go into this cannon. Fire from that. Take on this guy. And then use Duot for our next battle. Uh, yeah. So, do, so this captain has one Pokemon in his arsenal, and that of course is Unpheasant, the fully evolved form of uh, uh, Tranquil, which is a new form, and, and as I mentioned, it's a fully evolved Digimon, which means a high amount of experience. You're gonna see why in a minute. And I kinda burned it, and it taunts me, and it's no point being taunt because he's the die of, of, the, of the bird. Now, and that means a lot of things. So, oh dear, oh, oh dear, that's bad. Crap. Um, I made a mistake. I should not have done that. I shouldn't have done that. No, I really should have done that. Crap! I triggered Duot's evolution, and I was meant to do it next part. Um, here's what you can do: press the B button. It cancels evolution. Uh, but now our duo's at level 36, so what are we going to do? Good question. Well, we're going to do a bit of science later and sort that out. Oh my god, hacks. Really? Well, science, I can do whatever the hell I want. So, now we challenge this guy here. This is the last trainer battle in this gym because there's a round, a round of cannons next. Um... Yeah, next up is, is worker Arnold. Hey Arnold! He sent a Swoobat at level 33. Pig Knight. Yeah, Pig Knight's close to his evolution too, so... Can I use Carmine? Well, he's using Carmine because that's pretty powerful stuff. Better than Amnesia, but it's a lot worse than everything else. I hit him with a flame charge. Yes, I do. And he's dead. Right, that's gonna have to be it here. Um, through that fate, that's the end of that. Uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it for this bit. Anyway, now we're gonna be doing the rounds. Now we're gonna do the rounds of the cannons. This is the only way you can get to Skylar here. So, so, so go to the north cannon. It fires you across the gym. Right through the Oops. Go for this, it fires you through another set of hoops, two of them in fact. And this is the wait. Oh no. Watch out for that wall! Oh that's gonna hurt. Oh ouch. 
I think he's supposed to. Hurt. I think she missed the uh, calculated. So better her pride than sure, right? Anyway, Skylar is a is a flying type gym leader with three fully evolved flying types, and there's a reminiscence of Winoa. Her first Pokemon is a Swoobat. At level 33, you already took this down. We were using Escadrill here. So let's take it out with the rocks. With using Hold Claws to boost the accuracy of the move, giving me a plus one in attack. You're expected to be use Excadrill for this one, but it's been attacks with Heart Stamp, the physical psychic type. Which kind of does no damage at all, so. Let's swipe with Metal Claw. Which. Bloody kills him in one hit! Holy shit, that's powerful! So that's the end of that. Next up is Swana, which is a brand new Pokemon, the evolved form of Ducklet. But, there's one flaw, it is a water flying type with shit stats. Perfect for Tynamo here because he can kill it in one hit. And god, wait, it's a duck with boobs. That's bad. Duck tits, no. <laughs> so, charge beam into oblivion there. Do yourself. And, wow, we just killed off her mane in just one hit. This is an abs This is the problem when it comes to later gym battles, because some of these battles are one hit kills when you get better stats. There's the problem. Now we use Archer to take on her, um, her own unpheasant. You saw the male fe unpheasant. This is the female of Pheasant. The female of Pheasant is faster than the male. So, let's throw a rock at it and kill it in one hit. No, it's because it uses shit moves like Leer. That, that's a really bad choice. So I think we'll kill it off with, with the... Oh, it's using Quick Attack. Really? You're using Quick Attack? Now I'm going to finish you off with Fly, actually, because I know that it's a hacked move, but fuck it, it's fun to kill it with Fly. And that's what we got a good use of it. And that's the end of this gym battle you've won and you clinched the jet badge. So that's pretty much it. So, you now earn badge number six, the jet badge. With it, you now have, you are now three quarters away from the through the gym challenge. With only two gyms remaining. So, now what's next? You can now have level 70 Pokemon and she you get fight you finally get acrobatics. A very powerful move. And very powerful in terms of other Pokemon who learn it in. It... So basically now Team Aqua is Team Plasma are now in Ic are now in Icarus City, so that's your next destination. Flying all the way out here. Uh let's swap out some things here and there. And now we go into a pointless story debate and uh What the fuck is N? He basically really goes on about um, how Pokemon are suffering and uh, I think he was talking to my Escadrill there. I think it was that or the Archer. Oh crap, the Duot. Yeah. yeah, he was talking to my Duot, the first Pokemon I, bloody, I chose. So, is now using... Basically, he'll explain the plot now. The Light Stone and the Dark Stone. This is basically this is a plot point that we're going to be keeping an eye on. So he will go after a legendary Pokemon himself in order to um, sub sub subverge the entire region to, into accepting his beliefs that Pokemon are not our our friends and everything else. This screams Pokemon Peter, or basically it's a parody of Peter. That's why Team Plasma have been existing for a while. But right now, before we end the sixth art, I believe we'll be going get we'll be getting our hands on a very powerful move since third gen. Talk to the guy here, and pretty, he'll tell you that uh, there's, there's, there's a tr they've left a treasure on the runway, and they can actually ask the ship. So, what is this treasure, you may ask? What is so precious that they can keep? Well, you're about to find out, because I'm about to get it. Right here. It's TM40. It's Aerial Ace. What previously was the most powerful flying type move in the game, it was a, it was a, it was a generational definer. Basically, they told him that uh, Skylar gave these two the kit, the TMs here. And basically, they get pretty much say, you can have this shit. So, I think we're going to wrap it up here. The sixth arc is over, and now we move on to Twist Mountain for Chapter 7. And of course, the eventual world tour is coming. <laughs>